Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called Himalayan Heights Club, designed by CJ Wes. Now the course setup I've gone for is the Black Tees at 7,288 yards, pin position 1, medium wind speed, and I've left everything else as the default apart from the time of day I've set to morning and the weather I've set to light cloud. Mainly because where I live it's chucking down the rain at the moment um, and I could do with some decent weather. Anyway, let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. That's a nice touch. Can you see in the background there you've got HH for Himalayan Heights. Very clever. Now I've played other courses designed by CJ Wes and they've been very good so I'm looking forward to this. Now we've got a long par 4 to start with. Safely on the fairway. Hundred and forty yards to go. It's slightly uphill. It's going to be playing about one four three. Gonna increase the loft a bit here. it slightly kick left that's not bad now from memory the default um, fairways and greens were both firm and the green speed was medium fast I think read it that's gone quite way past as well a bit of work left here for par it's a gorgeous setting for a golf course now second hole par three it's a tough green, it's a small green and you can see all the way around you've got runoff areas as well. 142 yards. That's a tad slow, that could be in trouble. Yes it is. Ah oh, no! That's going to be a tough bunker shot. It's not a bad lie. Look at that view, it's stunning. That's a good par save. It was a poor tee shot, but it goes down on the card as a par. Par for third.
100 yards to go. Now again, it's a small green, but clearly you do not want to go left. <laughs> 100 yards, slightly uphill, into that breeze as well. I think what I'm going to try here, I'm going to hit a normal shot rather than a pitch, but with a sand wedge. Oh, it's a bit fast. Get down. Get down. We've got a nice little roll down back down towards the hole. Yeah, that's a good putt. Now we've got a short par four here, 307 yards, 68 feet downhill. So we can take off approximately 23 yards. Trouble, severe trouble out left. That front bunker's not the, not a bad place to be actually, if you end up in that bunker. I'm tempted here to try the driver but take all of the loft off so it's not going to carry very far but it will run a long way the other option I guess is to hit the three wood but that's going to be a long way short especially hitting into that slight breeze I think I'm going to take a big gamble here I'm going to go with the driver take all of the loft off it just hope I can put a good swing on it Oh, I think it's slow. That's rubbish. That'll be in the bunker. Let's see how far it carried. It carried over 290 yards. If that was on target, that would have run through the back of the green. And um, that back bunker is a much harder, well, I think a much harder bunker shot than the one I've got. It's not a very good lie though, and I'm on an upslope. This is a this is a tricky one to be fair. Well, a little bit unlucky. I put a bit too much backspin on that one. It was uh, it was on online. Got par five here at the fifth. These holes are so pretty. I mean, that's another gorgeous hole. Now, as you can see, there's lots of bunkers here to catch us out. I'm going to be lucky if I end up on the fairway and not in a bunker. Pulled it a fraction. Could do with a little bounce to the right to avoid that bunker. Oh, it's going to be in the heavy rough. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that. The fairway there gets very narrow. You've got effectively out of bounds on the left, which if we have a quick look on the on the card there, yeah. You don't want to go left or right here. This is a tough shot. Got a really bad lie as well. I think 
So I'm going to club right back here. I've just got to try and... It sounds really silly, but I've got to just try and hit this one straight. I'm not too concerned about how far it goes. I just want to be back on the fairway if possible. I leave myself an approach shot into the green, hopefully make par. Pulled it a bit. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Seventy-two yards, eight feet uphill. So it's going to be playing roughly seventy-five. Let's go with. Let's go with the sand wedge. But I'm going to put a little bit of backspin on this because I don't want it to run very far. When it's more or less. Either land and stop, or stop on the second bounce. That wind is moving around a little bit. Uh, stop. Stop quick. Yep. Yeah. break on this yeah, that's a good birdie that's not an easy par 5 that one great hole though great hole and a par 4 6 it's quite a long one it's 488 yards there's a dog leg to the right as well, so it's going to be playing longer than the 488 yards because of the dog leg. Now just have a look at that view there. Isn't that stunning? I love the way the course designers use the rocks on this course. It just looks amazing. There's quite a narrow fairway. Need to avoid going right if possible. Bounce right, please. Ah, oh, it went left. Oh, sugar, that's in the heavy rough. Tough second. Poor lie. Very poor lie. 59 to 68% lie. I'm not sure I can reach this. This is a really, really tricky shot. I wouldn't be too disappointed if I ended up in one of those bunkers on the left, to be honest. Ball below my feet as well. Well, I've made it onto the putting surface. Will it stay there? Yes, it will. I'm really pleased with that shot. It's a great recovery. Loving the the the, uh, the colours by the flowers there in the background. Now then, this looks a bit of a double breaker. It starts going left to right, and then as it gets closer to the hole, it goes right to left. So I'm gonna I'm gonna aim this one straight and hope that the balance is about right. Needs to come back. No, I think read it quite right, but it's not too bad. Another great hole. Now par five seventh. That's clever. The course designer has put those two bunkers. <clears throat> excuse me, right in the landing area. Now there is an option to take the right hand side, but that's risky as well because the fairway slopes down to the right hand rough and it will leave a longer approach shot into the green. 
So I think I'm going to take a gamble here and I'm going to try and go between those two bunkers. There's a slight breeze behind but I don't think it's going to help too much. Oh, get lucky. Go! 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 Oh, just stay up. Phew, that's a relief. 200 yards to go uphill, so that's going to be about 208. But wind behind, 7 miles an hour. There's a big slope there. If it goes long, it's going to mean a downhill putt, which is going to be tricky, but I'm tempted to... I'm on an uphill lie as well, I've just noticed, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go with a four iron. Needs to get down now. Will it come back at all? No. Okay, that's going to be a tough putt. <coughs> Sorry. I'm still recovering from uh, a really nasty cough that I, I've had pretty much most of 2024, to be honest. I'm, I'm in my 10th week now, and it's, uh, it's getting better, but it's um, not 100% cured yet. Um, they've been calling it a hundred day cough, so I'm getting close to my hundred days, I think. Now then, 39 feet, a foot downhill. I'm not sure whether I want to go the full. Let's try that. Go the left to right. And then right to left at the very end. think I've hit that hard enough. Let's see how fast these greens really are. Oh, that needs to slow down. Oh my goodness, I've misjudged that completely. Okay, well this is a birdie putt. Little bit of left to right on it. It's back up the hill. Yeah, well done. Par three, eighth hole, 200 yards downhill. Take off about 12 yards, so that's 188. But it's downwind as well. Seven miles an hour. I might try the seven iron here because I do have a tendency, you probably notice, I have a tendency to hit the power at 102%. Now, I don't mean to, it's a habit I've got into and I can't seem to get out of it. Now, a seven iron at 102% downwind should be sufficient. Now, just looking at the slope on the green there, ideally I could do with keeping it right of the flag. If I go left of the flag, there's a very steep slope. Let's let's give this a try. The wind's picked up slightly. Oh, I've hit it fast. That's left. Distance-wise, it's fine, but that's going to roll all the way down that damn slope. That's going to be a tricky putt. If it stays on, yes, it stayed on. Not too much break in this. I think I might aim it straight, to be honest. I'm not going to be too far away. I may go... No, I'm going to aim it straight. 
So the longer I look at it, the more I'm doubting my my line. It's looking good. It's looking very good. Yes, it's dropped. Oh, yes. What a putt. I would have taken two putts there, but the fact that that went in, I am delighted. Another fantastic view. Just take a look at that. It's just stunning. I have so much respect for all of you course designers. I know I've said this before, but I do. I think you're all amazing. And this is another great course. And this hole closes out the front nine. It's going to be a difficult par four. Really need to hit the fairway off the tee. That's looking good. 366 yards, that's a good drive. That leaves me 156 to go. That's downwind. That needs to get down and bite hard. Twenty feet. Not a great deal of break. Now important here is not to race it by the hole, because if I do you can see it's gonna just roll straight down into that bunker. So I'm three inches uphill. I'm gonna be a bit careful here. Even if I come up slightly short, I do not want to hit this too hard. If I can help it. Well, it's not going to take the break. Ah. Uh, that was a very makeable putt, but I didn't read it properly, unfortunately. And then 385. But this one's back into the breeze, so carrying that bunker could be tricky. Again, you do not want to go right. Actually, that bunker's not too bad a place to be because you're not too far from the hole and it's not a bad line in to the pin from there either. Yeah, it's in the sand, but I'm not too disappointed with that. As long as the lie isn't too bad. 77 to 85%. Okay, so it's not great. Uh, no, it's 8 yards uphill, so that's 98. I'm going to play a normal shot, I think. I might leave it on a gap wedge. Oh, I've hit that slow. That's not going to make it. Go, go, go. Oh, it did. Well, that's a fantastic result. All right, par 5, 11th. 
do a bit of island hopping here. Well, the drive is not going to be any good. In fact, the three wood is risky because it could run too far and end up in in the water. Three iron probably is not going to be far enough down. Five hundred and twenty-five. I think I might. Gosh, this is so risky. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chicken out. I'm gonna go with a three iron. I think. Ultra safe. I'm not going to be able to get on in two, but hopefully I can leave myself a reasonable third shot. I suspect I'll probably end up around here somewhere. Actually, that front bunker again is not, not too bad a place to be. Yeah, it'll kick to the right. Hopefully it'll stay on the fairway though. Yes, it did. Oh, that's a steep upslope. Not really sure how much backspin to put on this. That is a really steep upslope. It's going to be playing about 29 yards. I think I'm going to ease off on the backspin a bit here. Oh, I've hit it slow, you idiot. That's a poor chip. It's always tricky reading the greens when you're putting through shadows of this type. I find the shadows quite off-putting. too hard. Oh dear, I made a bit of a mess of this hole. Hopefully I can make par. Idiot. Yeah, just a par. Nah, I didn't play that at all well. That should have been a birdie. Made a mess of the chip and a mess of the putt. And 12th hole. Risk reward hole here, 326. It's into the wind though, so I probably won't be able to reach anyway. But if the wind was behind, I'd be worried about going over the back of the green, but I don't think that's going to be a problem today. Given it 103%, which it's going to need. Big bounce, go on, big bounce forward. Oh, it's made it. That's a great drive, I'm pleased with that one. Eagle putt coming up. It's not too much break, it's slightly downhill. Hold your line. No, I've misread it. Oh, no. Idiot. Ah. Oh, damn it. After such a great tee shot. Misread the putt. Ooh, now then, this is a tough par three. Very difficult pin position. 
you're only a few yards away from from no man's land it's quite a long one as well 214 yards into the wind it's going to make it well if we add on the elevation as well that's two so about 223 i'm gonna to have to increase the loft on this three iron I pulled it. Hopefully the wind will help me out, which it is. It needs to get down now. Good line. It's 102% again, though. Oh, come back. Come on. That's not bad. I'm happy with that. Take the break, take the break. Oh my goodness me. I'm missing a few parts, which I sh should really be holding. Just not quite reading the greens well enough. Just have a quick pan around to the right there. Look, just looking at the view, really. Incredible. Now then, 465 yard par four. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and draw this one around those trees. Wind off the left as well, which doesn't help. It's in good shape. Hundred and forty eight plus about mm, about nine ish. It went behind though. Ooh, steep up slope. Okay. Ball below my feet as well. that to bite now I really need to make a putt I've got left to right on this one it's an inch uphill Oh, you're kidding me. Ah, somebody put cellophane over the holes. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I could be about 10 or 11 under now. This is a great par three. Down the hill, 58 feet drop. That's roughly 19 yards. That's going to be 191. 191. Let's try the six iron. Oh, no, I've hit that very slow. That's terrible. Okay, come on, focus. No, that's, that's rubbish.
Well, thankfully, it was a dead straight putt. Uh, not playing so well on the back nine. I'm missing a few putts. Now then, par five. Another beauty. 590 yards. It's downhill, but can't hit the driver. Otherwise, we're going to be in the water. Got the wind behind as well. I may have to hit the three iron again like I did on the other one. Oh dear, my thumb doesn't seem to want to cooperate at the moment. Ball above my feet. Now that's going to be an awkward distance, I think. Uh, oh no, 30 yards, that's not too bad. Not a huge amount of green to work with though. I've got to make sure I don't hit this one slow. If I do, I, I could be in that bunker. So I've got to be really positive with this. It's a better shot, much better shot. Minus eight. When I think about the putts that have literally just shaved the side of the hole and not gone in, I could be potentially 12 under now, but never mind. That's golf. We often hear golfers talk about the ones that got away. Now then, another stunning hole. Basically, don't go left. That might be too far right. No, that's in good shape. They could get a good bounce forward off that down slope as well. Which it did. 362 yards so I've got 50 yards to go now here's here's a tip um, that I tend to use it works quite often on a on a pitch shot of this distance so what I'm going to do I'm on the lob wedge which will go 67 yards so I max out the aim marker and then I maximize the loft which will bring the shot back to about 50 yards approximately now we've got a slight breeze behind, but hopefully that won't make too much of a difference, but we are on a slight upslope. Ball is slightly below our feet, so I'm going to aim just a fraction to the left. Not much though. Now with regards to backspin, you've got to be careful because if you do put too much backspin when you've got maximum loft, you will generate an awful lot more backspin. So it's a judgment call here whether we want to put any on at all. I think I'm going to put a tiny amount. Right, let's try that. Needs a good swing though. That's going to be a bit short. Hopefully not too much spin. No, no, that's a great result actually. I got the spin just about right. And the, the thing I like about playing that type of shot is you're not hitting a partial, you're still hitting a full swing. Um, but you're adjusting the type of shot to compensate for the yardage, if that makes sense. Now uh, then, let's see if we can roll this one in. Yeah. That's a good birdie. Now the 18th, I hope it's not too difficult, because I could really do with finishing at 10 under par here. It's 435 yards. Absolutely stunning.
stunning. I just, I'm just in awe at what you guys can produce with a course designer. And I hope uh, 2K and HP Studios bring out another game later this year. And I certainly hope they continue with the course designer, but add more functionality to it so that you guys can just let your um, creative juices flow freely. Um, now then, this is tricky. You've got those two bunkers in the middle there. The ideal line is down that left-hand side, but it's dangerously close to the water. It's a narrow fairway going down the right-hand side, and it's a tougher line into the flag as well. So here we go. Oh, I've hit it a bit slow. That's in the bunker. Oh, that's a shame. Not far to go, but it's still coming out of the sand. 83 to 91% sand wedge. It's tempting. I don't think a log wedge will quite cut it, although the wind is behind. I'm probably going to be relying a lot on this um, downwind to to get me there to be honest I don't want to go long obviously let's try the log wedge oh, I've hit it slow go big bounce big bounce oh no oh, what a... so annoying again my thumb I've got to cut out these slow shots. This is a tough bunker shot. I could end up back where I am now. Spin, 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 spin. Ah. A lot of work left for par in the shadows as well. Well, that's a good par save. Yeah, I left a few out there, that's for sure. What a fantastic course, though. Well, CJ Wes has basically done it again. He's done another great course. Beautiful course, fun to play, has its challenges. Excellent job. Yeah, don't look at the statistics. They're not great. <laughs> but no, congratulations, CJ Wes. You've done another amazing course. So many congratulations to you. So that's Himalayan Heights Club. If you've not already played it, as you can see, it's had a lot of plays already. But uh, give that one a go. It's fantastic. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. Well, take care, everyone. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye now.